worthy of all glory. We just lift you up. Let's just raise our voices in adoration. Let us acknowledge him for this time and for this hour. Father, we honor you and praise you. We exalt you above who we are. We exalt you above our minds. We exalt you above our marriages. We exalt you above our children. We exalt you above our marriages. We exalt you above any achievement. Come on, just glorify him. Just lift him up for such a time as this. Lord Jesus, you are worthy of all honor. We glorify you and thank you, Master. We praise you for the seasons and the time. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the anointing even to adapt. You were a king. And yes, you came down as a man. You were a God. And yet on this earth, you walked and served. You were the Lion of Judah. And yet you were a lamb. Father, we ask for your anointing today. We ask for your power today. Even as we intercede, even as we pray that you will give us the anointing to change according to the situation. To adapt according to what you have brought our way. Lord Jesus, we know that you direct the footsteps of the righteous. And we do not work out our own path. You have said in your word that your ship hear your voice and they follow you. But as we are following you, help us adapt to your footsteps. Even as Paul said, imitate me as I imitate Christ. Lord, help us to adapt to your footsteps. Lord Jesus, help us to adapt to the changes of scenery, the changes of people, the changes of situation help us to be authentic and original that we will not confirm ourselves to the standards of this world but we will renew Lord Jesus, we come to you today in repentance. Have mercy upon us. Father, your word says, though our sins are as red as scarlet, they will be as, as, as white as snow. Though they be as red as crimson, they shall be as white as wool. Cleanse us with his soul and make us clean. Put our sins as far away from us as the east is from the west. Oh Lord Jesus, cleanse us. Make us anew. You are the God of a new covenant. Father, we thank you for the anointing tonight. The anointing on our hands to rediscover, to be flexible to adapt. Come on, someone just welcome the power of God. Welcome the power of God in your house. Welcome the power of God upon your children. Welcome the power of God upon your marriage. The anointing of God for this season and for this time. Hallelujah. He is designated to the house of Samuel. He is designated to the house of David. He is designated. Oh, come on, somebody. Amen. To your house and my house. For such a season as this, he has been designated to all flesh. Oh, come on, welcome him. Decree and declare that your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see vision. 
Your old men will dream dreams. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody decree and declare it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Decree and declare it. I decree it for my children. I decree and declare it for my sons and my daughters. They will prophesy. I will prophesy. My siblings will prophesy. I decree and declare it for my son that he will see visions. They say your old man will dream dreams. I decree and declare it tonight that our old man will dream dreams in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you for today. I want to welcome all of you in a special way to a Thursday evening service. You are highly welcome. I want you to know that the Robert Kanja Facebook can be accessed. The Jessica Kayanja Facebook page can be accessed. Jessica Kayanja YouTube can be accessed. YouTube. We had a problem with the Robert Kayanja YouTube. Robert Kayanja YouTube. And we are still trying to fix it. But we know that whatever happens, the work of God will continue. And as if that is not enough, we are on channel 44. We are on DSTV. We are on Azam TV. We are on Zuku. TV. We are back on start times. Oh, praise Jesus. So all our brethren watching us from the villages, we love you, we honor you, we appreciate you at such a time as this. Hallelujah. Amen. So feel free to tune in. I wanted to read the different platforms that are coming. Channel 44. But I was not availed uh, the, 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 the list in time. I know that there will be time enough to do it. We want to thank all of you who are participating in the bucket project. We want you to know that the lines are available for you to participate even now. We want to do we want, to, we want to thank all of you who have participated in the preaching of the gospel project and the track project. We cannot wait to reach out. We have learned to adapt to the times. And we will not waste any more time as, long, as soon as the time is right. We will preach the word. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God. We have been looking at the anointing around our hands. And we have looked at the adversaries of the hands. Every time you set out your, uh, yourself to work, there will be adversaries. Paul says that a great and effectual door has been opened unto me. And there are many adversaries. And we have seen the adversary of slumber, the adversary of sleep, the adversary of laziness. Westers and we, we, time wasters and the entity of time. We have seen the, the, the adversary of lack of originality. The adversary of fear. If you want to um, if you want to look at these Oh, videos. Please go to our Facebook page, the Jessica Kanja Facebook page. Or so, 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 so,
if you were dealing with any of those adversaries and tune in and pray with us and, 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 and believe God with us. Yesterday we began on yet another adversary and he is an adversary dispatched for this season and this time and he is an adversary dispatched to steal from the work of your hands to steal from your season to steal from your time to steal from your vision if there has ever been a message that you should listen to it is this message the adversary that we began looking at last night was the lack of adaptability I want to welcome all of you top chat group I can see all of you and I am honored to have you online it's a, it's a full house I cannot call all your names I'm just wondering at the people I cannot see yet um, Flavia Knight and, 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 and Zion and my daughter Jackie and, uh, and but, but the most of you are here and it is an honor to have you I can see all of you it, it's a full house tonight and you are all welcome you have become family and I, I love to interact with you and I know that as the word goes forth you, you, you travail in the spirit I, 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 I love you and I appreciate you. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, Father, one more time. I present myself as a vessel willing to be used of you. I pray that if there is anything in me that is more on me, that I will begin to decrease right now. Even as you increase, I my tongue like the pen of a ready writer for clarity of speech. So one, that no one one will live here the same way they came. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I pray that as your word goes forth tonight, that there will be utterances in the spirit. That oracles of God will be declared. That your word will go out like a sword to divide us from this dangerous adversary of lack of adaptability that has come to steal from our season that has come to steal from our gifting that has come to steal from, from, from our talent that has come to steal from our faith we rebuke him in the name of Jesus we command him to live in the mighty name of Jesus Satan we warn you that you do not have a hold over us and anything you might have assigned to tamper with us has been rendered helpless and ineffective in the name of Jesus. As we pray tonight, as we fellowship tonight, we know that our hands are being set free. Even as our spirits will be set free in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, power of God. We thank you, Master of God. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Master. You are already in this place. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Free to air decoder is channel 12. Start times is, is number 299. 290 Azam TV is channel number 1552 Zuku channel number is 056 and Go TV uh, channel number is 812 and DSTV channel number is 297. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor uh, uh, Julia. 
or watch for, for, for giving you guidance on the platforms available. Uh, last night we started on a lack of adaptability. And I will refresh your mind. I'd, I'd, I'd fresh your mind, refresh your mind from yesterday. Adaptability is simply the ability to be flexible and bend to act to embrace changing situations, changing circumstances, changing people. We can never be at a constant. There will be a, the highs in, in, in our lives. There will be lows in our lives. Uh, Paul said, when I went out to the Jews, I was like them. When I went to those with the law, under the law, I was like them. And those without the law, I was like them. And those who were weak, I was like them again in order to win them. So Paul tells his story of changing situations and changing circumstances. Of how he had to adapt to accommodate different people. You will never meet the same people everywhere you go. Some people are friendly, others are hostile. Uh, others are, are, are rude, others are polite. Others are spiritual, others are not. But he adjusted accordingly. In the same way God, who was the word, became flesh and dwelt amongst. He adjusted and became man. Even though he was the king of kings. Even though he had a throne in glory. Even though he had a crown on his head. He took it all off and came down and came to our level and decided to adapt to us and to where we were at so that he could accommodate us. Hallelujah. Amen. So that he could accommodate us. That was Paul. But we, that, that was God. And we began by saying, just as Paul is imitating Jesus, and as he requests that we imitate him, we know that there are values that must be upheld. And one of them is adaptability. If God could adapt and, 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 and a bar that had been set so high was adjusted to accommodate you and me. Then we too can adapt. Tonight we are going to see how adaptability can influence our visions. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, Philippians chapter 4 verse 12 says, I know what it is to be in need. And I know what it it is to have plenty. I have learned the secrets of being in content in any and every situation. Whether well fed or hungry. Whether living in plenty or living in one. That was Paul. I want to read because I said we cannot make Paul the subject matter. 
There are some theologians who argue that he was imbalanced. We will make Jesus the subject matter. So that we will understand that it is of that we be able to adapt at this season and at this time. Luke chapter 2 verse 6 to 7 says and while they were there the time came for her to give birth and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn that is Jesus God is about to come out. God has been uh, given an allocated time to be born. The Bible says the time came for her to give birth. The time was wrapped, ready, the, 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 the time had been ordained for her vision to come forth. The time had been ordained for what she was carrying to come out. The time had been ordained for what she had carried and believed for all that time. To come out, to manifest in the earth. But the Bible says there was no room to lay it. In that city there was a lockdown. But she had a baby that she could not wait to release but the Bible says there was no place in the inn the inns were locked to her and yet the time for her vision was up the time for the vision was then oh come on somebody Amen. I can't even start preaching before I I I I, I, I um, I read all the texts for today. Uh, Genesis chapter 16 verse 7. The angel of the Lord found Hagar near a spring in the desert. It was the spring that is beside the road to Shur. And he said... Naga, Kagari, slave of Sarai, where have you come from and where are you going? And she says, I'm running away from my mistress Sarai. The angel of the Lord told her, Go back to your mistress and submit to her. The angel added, I will increase your descendants so that there will be too numerous to count. The angel of the Lord also say to her you are now pregnant and you will give birth to a son and you shall name him Ishmael for the Lord has heard your misery in Philippians chapter 4 verse 12 Paul is writing a letter to the Philippians and in this letter he is in, he is in prison and he is saying to the Philippians that I have learned I have adapted I have learned to be in a situation where I am subjected to lack but I am also I am also able to be in a situation where I am subjected to abundance in, he, in, the, in this prison Paul cannot interact with his congregation he had already created a congregation in Macedonia. He cannot see the people because he is locked up. He himself is in lockdown. And now he is talking to these people and, and writing them letters. And he says in all this, I have learned to abound and to be in love. I have learned to be comfortable and uncomfortable. 
for what I am going through will not stop me from ministering to you. What I am going through will not stop me from writing letters to you. What I am going through will not stop me from finding a way to communicate to you. Yes, I am in an uncomfortable place. Yes, I am unhappy. Yes, I am not doing the things the way I used to do them. They are prison guards everywhere. They are pains everywhere. But to you, the Philippians, I say that even though I used to be in abundance and now I'm in love, I have learned, I have adapted to be in this place because as a minister of the gospel, I cannot run away from the ministry that God has given me. As a minister of the oh, come on somebody, come on somebody, as a minister of the gospel, I cannot run away from what God has called me to do. As a minister of the gospel, I cannot say I am in prison because you, the sheep, will be discouraged. As a minister of the gospel, I cannot even come and tell you my problem because you, the sheep, will wonder what to do. As a minister of the gospel, I can only find a way to make it work. And in other words, he's saying I'm in prison, but I have learned to be in luck because things must go on. And in this time in prison, Paul writes to so many other places. In this time in prison, Paul writes to so many churches because he says, as a minister of the gospel, I have learned to make use of the situation. I pray that someone is listening tonight. I decree and declare a spirit of adaptability. Oh, upon all of us, it is hard. But we cannot abandon our post. When we signed up, we did not sign up for just glamour. When we signed up, we did not sign up for just enjoyment. When we signed up, we did not sign up for just celebration. When we signed up, we did not sign up for that which was easy. We must be able to preach the gospel in season and out of season in season and out of season so Paul is in prison and he's writing to the Philippians and he's telling me them thank you for everything you have done but I have learned to bear it I have learned to bear it I have learned to bear it and I will not be stopped from 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 pastoring my congregation and in Philippians chapter 1 verse 12 he takes it to another level he said but I would you should understand brethren that the things which happened to me have fallen out rather unto the furtherance of the gospel the things that have happened and now he turn, takes it to another level he says, yes, yes, we are in prison. Yes, we cannot move. But what has happened has caused the harvest to be ripe. There is a furtherance of the gospel right now. Because when I was interacting with you, I could only do it in a certain region at a certain time. But right now, I'm writing letters to the Philippians, to the Corinthians, to different churches. I'm reaching out. I'm touching souls that they what the devil meant for bad. God has turned it into God. That is adaptability. Taking what the enemy meant for bad and making good use of it. 
Joseph is sold into prison. Joseph is sold into Egypt. And when he gets into Potiphar's house, he makes use of the situation. He becomes powerful. He becomes excellent. Oh, come on, somebody. And Pharaoh promotes him to the point that he's at a better place than if an Potiphar promotes him to the point that he's at a better place than his brothers who stayed behind and were not sold. And he doesn't stop there. He goes to prison and he outshines the prisoners. Adaptability is making use of a good, a bad situation. Taking a bad situation and turning it into a good situation. Looking at the bright side of things. Lack of adaptability. Is taking a bad situation and making it worse than it should be. Paul said, I'm in prison but I'm coming to you today. I'm in prison but I will still write to you. I'm in prison but I will still make use of the airwaves. I'm in prison but I will still make use of social media. I'm in prison but I will still make use of my mobile phone. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. That's the meaning of adaptability. Adaptability is coming into a terrible situation and using it for your benefit. Adaptability is an anointing. And I do not blame you if you are not walking in that anointing. It is an anointing of Jesus Christ. It is an anointing of Jesus Christ who though he was God became a man although he was a king he became a servant oh come on somebody come on somebody yes he was the lion of Judah but he was also a lamb I decree and declare a spirit of adaptability upon you tonight Paul said I cannot give up. I am preaching the gospel in season. And out of season, I am making use of this bad situation because I've learned to be in luck. But I've also learned to abound. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Have we learned? To, to make use of a bad situation. Have we learned to use to look at the bright side of a changing situation? Are you in a bad relationship? Has someone locked you out? Has someone refused to listen to you? Has someone refused to respond to you? Make use of that situation. Use that time to better yourself. Go into the world and begin to pray and fast seek a better job do something for yourself that is adaptability you cannot sit down and mourn you cannot sit down and fret you cannot sit down and agitate Paul says I have learned to, to know how to respond when there is lack and I have learned to know how to respond when there is abundance but in the same way the time is ripe for Paul's vision to be born 
Paul's vision. Let me remind you that when Paul is in prison, he's living in his last days. And to say, I cannot minister, would be to waste time. To say, I cannot minister, would be to give up. To say, I cannot minister, would be to drop your vision. The Bible says the vision is yet for an appointed time. Time lost can never be time recovered. For you, for Paul to have said, I'm waiting to come out of prison. Would be Paul would, would have been would have been to say that I will never preach again. Because he did not have that he did not have that time left. The Bible says in the book of Habakkuk, the vision is yet for an appointed time. It is not every day that it is your vision. The Bible says time and chance happeneth to every man, not times and chances, but times and chance but time and chance bear with me congregation because I'm taking you somewhere bear with me congregation because I'm taking you somewhere tonight hallelujah Amen. I'm taking you somewhere time and chance happen to all of them and what about if this is your time and what about if this is your chance it happened to Mary the Bible says, and the time came for her to give birth. Oh, and guess what? In the time when it is her time for the vision to come forth, for what she was carrying to come out, there is lockdown. There is lockdown. The Bible says, all the inns in the city had no place for her. All the inns in the city were closed out to her. And yet it was time to drop her baby. And yet it was time to, to push out her vision. Time and chance happen to every man. Oh, it was time for her to bring forth what would change her destiny, what would change the destiny of her family, what would change the destiny of her people. But there was a lockdown. It was time for her to bring forth what would change the destiny of the world. But it was lockdown. I want you to know that lockdown Lockdown ain't holding you back. Lockdown won't keep you behind. It's time to push your baby. Then you will push your baby. It's time to bring forth your vision. Then you will bring forth your vision. Because if you sit on that baby, the appointed time to have that baby was there and there. And if you sit on that baby, you will kill that baby. If you sleep on that baby, you will kill that baby. There is a time in your life when the only thing you can do is push out that baby. There is a time in your life when the only thing you can do is birth that vision. There is a time in your life when the only thing you can do is have that baby. But the doors were locked. It was locked down. Oh, come on. Amen. And she looked for a place to have her baby. And it was only a manger. Uncomfortable. Full of animals. But Paul said, I have learned to make it. Whether in luck. Whether in abundance. Whether in need need, whether in an overflow, whether a best, whether abounding, oh, come on, 
God. Amen. She said, bring me the man. I'm not killing my baby. I am abounding. Even though there is lack. I am managing. Even though I am needful. I am dealing with this situation. I am not sitting on my baby. I am not fretting. Time and chance happened to all of them. It is my time. I'm not postponing it. I'm not closing it down. I'm not pushing it back. This is my time. This is my time. Bring me the manger. That is adaptability. That is about ability. I can see that there is no comfortable place to operate. But even in this discomfort, I am not quitting my job. Even if this, this even in this discomfort, I am not doing what I am not going away from what I signed to. Even in this discovered, I must still press on. I decree and declare a spirit of adaptability. A spirit of adaptability. Making use of a bad situation. Making use of a bad situation. Oh, do you know that there are some people who are adapting? I have a spiritual daughter in the United States. She left, I think, about last year. And correct me because she's on WhatsApp. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, she left about last year. But it is in this season, this season of lockdown, that she was granted her green card. It is in this season of lockdown. Oh, come on, someone. Amen. That she's about to get married. It is in this season of lockdown. I am talking about the anointing of adaptability. I am talking about the anointing of adaptability. It is this season of lockdown that she sees a job coming. Hey, come on, somebody. Amen. That is another level. You must push your baby. I know that the inns are locked. But this is not the season to fight the inn owners. The most important thing is your baby. Because while you are still fighting, while you are still being antagonistic, while you are still abusing, the baby is dying. It's dying in your feet. It's dying in your legs. Oh, come on, somebody. Insist. Just say, give me a manger. Give me a manger. You've locked down. But just give me a manger. All I need is a manger. Even though it's full of animals, I'll still push it out. Because it's time. I'll still push it out. Because it's time. What about if this was your season to get married? And you were hoping for a glamorous wedding Queen with a hundred maids and sixty metrons and, and the man has proposed and, and the baby is ready to be born and you are busy saying let's wait and come out of prison Paul said no no no, no. I have learned to make use of it if the baby is ready to be born if the baby is ready to be born what about if the man runs away and looks for a woman who is adaptable because you are waiting to come out of prison and invite all of us to our wedding so that we fear to come and, don't, and, and, we, and we don't even come 
because we we, 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 are ima- we we think we will get disease if we come and, and, and you are waiting or to invite us no if it is time to push that baby oh just get yourself into a scientific wedding if it is time to push that baby <laughs> just get yourself into a scientific scientific look at the bright side you won't even have to spend any money you can just tell the people uh, we, we, we couldn't invite you it was not right oh come on somebody Amen. Mary said give me the manger the baby is here the baby is here it's not time to sit on your baby this is your time push out your baby my spiritual daughter when she began to, to, to tell me to pray about her green card, green card yeah. I said what we are praying about the disease and you are telling me about a green card she said yes we prayed for the green card she has it oh come on somebody Amen. hallelujah Amen. hallelujah Amen. don't wait don't wait then she began to say pray about a relationship it came then she began to say pray about a job I told her how are you doing all this in lockdown uh, you, how I, every time I call you you are in the house how have you done all this in lockdown she's having her babies she's having her babies I decree and declare a spirit of adaptability Push your spiritual baby out tonight. Push your vision out tonight. It doesn't matter whether there are animals around. It doesn't matter whether there is Wi-Fi around you. Oh, it doesn't matter what is happening around you. Push that vision out. Push that vision out. People have moved their businesses to online. To their mobile phone to delivery and they are giving testimonies and you are wondering how are they doing it I decree and declare a spirit of adaptability right now to everyone who hears me by the sound of my voice Paul said while he was in prison I have learned to be a best I have learned to abound I have learned to be in need I have learned to be in field it doesn't mean that we should stay down but it means that when the down comes it will not throw us down we will still operate we will still be strong we will still serve oh come on somebody come on someone we will still work we will still dream dreams she said I'm pushing out my baby the time had come what if this is your time what if this year was prophesied as your season what if your time and chance has come and you are pushing it away and you are postponing it and you are saying this that and the other I decree and declare a spirit of adaptability in the mighty name of Jesus a spirit of adaptability in the mighty name of Jesus oh come on an anointing to adapt an anointing to adapt a certain lady's husband walked away from her she was a, he was a pastor they were both pastors threw her out of the church and when it was time for her to start her own ministry I was in full support I attended the function and there were some people who were saying how could she 
Why she should have waited a little, a little longer? Why should I sit on my baby? Just because someone has thrown me out of his tent. Why should I sit on my baby? And just because you feel it's not time. Why should I sit on my baby? Oh, the inns were locked. But Mary said, We can do it. We can do it. Where is the manger? We don't even have to start big. Come on, somebody. The days of your hunger begin. The days of your humble beginning. Come on, someone. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. It was time for Mary to push her baby. Oh, Paul was leaving. In his last days, there was no way he could wait. There was no time to wait. Oh, I know that there are people who have time. But I am not one of them. I cannot sit around and wait for someone to throw me out of his house and then call me back and then throw me out and then marry everyone in Kampala. Why should I wait? And sit on my baby. It is time. It's time. Mary's baby was in her legs. Mary's baby was in her legs. She had to push out her baby. And she pushed her baby out. In the name of Jesus. She pushed her baby out. In the name of Jesus. I want you to know that you may not be in the perfect place. You may not even have the right type of money. Paul was in prison. But he wrote letters. He did not lose his congregation. Adaptability is an anointing. As a matter of fact, Paul's congregation grew. He did not fret. Mary, Mariam, as for a manger, and the moment she pushed her baby, oh, <laughs> guess what happens? Wise men, she changes the status of the manger. She changes the status of that poor blessed. She changes the status of the nothingness where she was. She changes the status of the of of the, of the place that was despised. Wise men are coming from the east. They are carrying frankincense. They are carrying ma. They are carrying wealth. What was a manger? you are joking. You are joking. The devil is about to be surprised when you push out your baby. When you push out your vision, you will be surprised. You are going to change the status of where you are. You are going to change the status of where the enemy has thrown you. You are going to change the status of where the enemy has put you. It's time to have your baby. It's time to have your baby. Your vision is right. Your vision is right. Your vision is right. Vision is right. And it is now. It is now. It is now. She said, bring me a manger. At the moment she had that baby. It was glorious. Angels singing. A vision changes everything. Oh, come on, someone, angels singing. Frankincense and ma- uh, uh, a manger smells. But the wise men brought an aroma. They brought go- they got they brought wealth. The angels endorsed his bath. The wrong place. But the right thing. Adaptability. Will cause you to do the right thing. Even though it is the 
wrong place. Even though it looks like a wrong situation. Adaptability will cause you to do it. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare tonight. An anointing of adaptability. An anointing of adaptability. And as we close. Another young lady called Hagar has been mistreated by her mistress. She has been abused by her master. The master has made her pregnant. Her mistress has mistreated her. And she's running back to Egypt. The Bible says the angel found her on the road to her. She was going back home. She says, I've had enough. I cannot be in an uncomfortable place. Like that. I cannot push my baby among such hostile people. I cannot push my baby where they are enemies. I cannot bring forth my vision when everyone around me hates me. Adaptability. Adaptability. There will never be a day without enemies. There will never be a day without haters. There will never be a day without antagonism. There will never be the perfect time to start. And if you are an adult, you will know that. But she was a girl. And the angel said to her, Where are you going, slave of Sarai? She said, I'm running away from my mistress. I have had enough. I have had enough. I am not going back. I'm going home to Egypt. I am fed up. And guess what? The angel says to her, You need to go back for just one thing the baby in you. You cannot have the baby in the wilderness. There, there is hostility there. There is unfriendliness there. But you put your emotions aside. Entondo. Entondo so zize kubali. Amen. Hagari dayo. Haga go back. O sindika kana ko. And you push your vision. O kazari. And give birth to your son. Ba inzo kubache waku agara. They may not love you. Ba inzo kubaba kuwala na. They are hate. They hate you. Ba inzo kubaba kukowa. They are fed up of you. Na ye katiro oza kukana ko. Think about your vision. Jawe entondo. Remove. Jawe entondo. Remove every hatred. Aka na kaja kufa. Your child will die in the wilderness. Ole meo kubela na so that no one will be half back upon you. Kufa, Your kufa. child shall die. And, and the world shall spawn you Dayo. Hega, go back. Dayo. Go back. Vamo untondo. Amen. Dayo zala go. And go. give birth your son. Dayo go back and f- push your vision. Akana kako. It's your child. They don't care. I will give the other man another child. Amen. This lady is not the owner of this child. You are in the wilderness. Fretting. When will you ever reach Egypt? Go back. Go back and submit. Go back and push your vision. I don't know. I know that I'm preaching to some men who have never been pregnant. But I know that the, 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 yes, but, I, but I'm also preaching to women, and I know women that have been pregnant. When when, when the, 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 you get to a point, or two cow, when your priority is the baby, that when your priority is the baby, it's not always hang, angry with you. It's not who is laughing at you. It is your baby. I must push him. 
mwana wake I must have him Ninokuzalo mwana wake It is your baby Aba mwana wo that it you that, that when that time comes Akasara ko katuse You cannot be thinking Tonda ku down all was Bana anda baba chia How will they see me Bana gamba chia What will they speak about me And you said go back Malaika na mgamba tayo And he said do you know how many descendants are in your stomach Namo buza o manyiba sukuru bamekaba le muru tomo Do you know how powerful I'm going to make you because of that baby O manyiche ngendo kufura lo mwana oyo Do you know what you are risking with your emotion O manyiche cho gendo kuita mungu olwo busima bwobo Hega adapt Ega chuko gwe mumbere liwo Ega take away your emotions from you Jawabu simo gwonen tondo zomu vino Ega go back Ega li daye wa mkama awo Push Sindi kila yo mwana Have that baby Zali da yo mwana awo Grow up Kula Ega Kagali It's time Keka sera And you said are you aware the angel told her you are aware you are pregnant Malaika na mkama tu chimanyo lidubuto wandering on the streets or ye yozungira mu makumbi in the middle of the night masmatun bibute mbonyize you are I'm so tired fed up I'm mad up about them Hega Kagari This is not time for emotions Bino sibya bisabya kuiwa mu busimo na mubiri gwano This is time to struggle Kasera la fuma na dayo Cry kwaba You are among hostile people, but push. You are among abusers, but push. You are among users, but push. Go back and push. And Hagar wakes up. And she goes back. Have you, have you ever heard of that? It takes a lot of adaptability. To deal with abusive people, I can assure you. Or who people you think are abusive. Because she thought they were abusive. It takes a lot of humility. It takes a lot of gathering and discipline of emotion. But she went back. Adaptability is deciding to cope even with unfavorable people just for the sake of making it through just for the sake of doing what the Lord ordained you to do. And Hagar goes back. I don't know what she said. But I know that she pushed that baby. And they watched her push that baby. The world is about to watch you. They've seen you crying. They've seen you hurting. They've seen you begging. And they're about to celebrate. They are about to clap. They're about to shout. They're about to ask, how did you do it? The inns were locked. You were in prison. You were in an abusive environment. How did you do it? I pray for the anointing of adaptability. To fall on you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare tonight. That God will make you a bender. So that you don't break. Your vision. So that you do not break. Your calling. So that you do not break. Your ministry. So that you do not break. What God has called you to do. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare tonight the anointing of adaptation. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. They are people who are already so worried. I was supposed to do this this year. I 
I was supposed to do that the other year. But adapt adaptability is allowing to change the course of action. The bucket project was about adaptability. We could not go on a, you know, business as usual, praying or closing our eyes when people are starving. No. We are going to be Jesus was not destined to the lady with an issue of blood. Jesus was not destined to the lady with an issue of blood. Jesus was destined to Jairus' daughter. But because there was a woman with a need, she interrupted, her, he interrupted his program and stopped. He adapted himself. It must have been painful. He must have organized some things for that year. When we started the bucket project, there are things that had to change. The plans that we had 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 to change. Our aim for the farm and the farm products had to change. But that's what they call adapting. There was no way we could say business as usual. No. We couldn't, there was no way we could stamp our hands on the table and say, let things go back. We could only meet those who were in need at their need. And thank you so much. The Congregation of Miracle Center. The partners of Robert Kayanja Ministry. You are so adaptable. I don't know what we would do. I don't know what the rest, the, the, the people that you have fed and, and, and the people that have been reached out to, I don't know what they would have done. If you had not adapted, you were like Paul in prison, in pain, but touching people, in pain, but reaching out to people. You were like Mary, looking for a place to lay her baby, and saying, at least let me throw it in the manger. It was still bring change in the world. You are like Hagar. Going back to a situation that isn't so pleasant. But not complaining. Not grumbling. And you are still reaching out. Tonight, I decree and declare that babies are being pushed out. This is your season. We are going to embarrass Satan. We are going to embarrass the coronavirus. We are going to pray him down. We are not going to miss anything that God has in store for us. If it is a manger, we will push. If it is a comfortable place, we will push. If it is a hurtful place, we will push. If it is a confusing place, we will push. My only plea with you is that if you can, don't postpone the baby. Just find a way to adjust. And find a way to push it. Don't sit on your baby. 
Don't sit on your baby. Father in heaven. Right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We decree and declare. A setting free of our hands. As our spirits are set free. We decree and declare the ability to adapt. We had many programs. We had many hopes. We had many dreams. But so many of us have been surprised. And yet you are a God who is not surprised. And yet you are a God who adapts. If you could become man, we humble ourselves. Lord Jesus, we humble ourselves. Under your mighty hand. Let's take time to humble ourselves. Father, we don't know where the wind blows. But we pray that you will make us bend in your direction. We submit to the Holy Spirit. We submit to your power. We submit to your glory. We submit to your honor. Enable us to adapt. Give us the anointing to adapt. It may not, it is not easy. But you are a God who adapted. Give us an anointing to adapt. Not only to our needs, but to the needs of the community. To the needs of those who hurt. Even those who are physical and spiritual. Enable us to keep on ministering. Because we know that once you have commissioned, you will provision. Enable us to to walk in our commissioning that we will continue to encourage instead of discourage that we will continue to exhort instead of pull down that we will continue like Paul to show people that it's not the end of the world even when you are in prison even that, that being in prison doesn't make it the end of the world. That being locked up doesn't make it the end of the world. That having no room doesn't make it the end of the world. Give us ideas. Lord, we know you can. Give us ideas. That we can adapt. Father, we repent for the desire to give up. The desire to walk away. For those of us, there are people that are watching that you have desired to give up. You are saying I'm fed up. You are saying I'm not trying anymore. This is what Jesus is for. You can accept the Lord as your own personal savior now. There is an anointing of adaptability among the people who know their God. The Bible says they will be strong. Bible and they will do exploits. In the name of Jesus, we call back every spirit that has wandered away out of discouragement, out of pain, out of being separated from their children, from their, from their spouses abroad, from their families abroad strengthen them right now those who are in lack give them ideas strengthen them and help us to reach them in the name of Jesus we pray amen and amen God bless you as you worship
见都谁？ Heavier.